Butch here, back with another project to show you. So this is a 73 Charger. You can see I've already had it sandblasted. Hell car. And I um, got the front engine compartment and that in epoxy primer. I still got to do some stuff in the back. Wanted to get that sealed up. And I had cut off the quarter panels because I, they were bad. And we got that all sandblasted inside. Got some primer and everything up inside there. And the wheel wells were all rotted. So I replaced the outer halves of the wheel wells. And if you take a close look there, these are actually 71 and 72 outer wheel halves. They said they need a minor um, adjustment to make them fit for a 73 or 74. Well, I didn't see what you had to modify on it. They fit pretty good to me. But what I did was, if you take a close look in here, you can see there's a bunch of beams that come down, supports, and then there's another one back in here, and then all the way in the back, the uh, outer wheel lip, it's underneath this piece coming down. So there's a lot of stuff to tear apart in there. Would be hard to do and probably tear it up in that. So you can see what I did was I took and cut all around it. Oop, go a little too fast there. And I cut that section out and welded it in. Uh, and it fit real well. Didn't have any problems at all. And then went ahead and put in a new um, trunk extension. And you can see I got the back side of it here. Get down there, I got that all primered up. Um, Cause we're not gonna be able to get at that once the quarter panels are on. And I got the quarter panels all fitted. That's what today's job is gonna be is to get the uh, quarter panel welded on and I'll make another video after I get that on there. Um, I decided instead of butt welding up here at the top um, that what I would do is uh, flange it. So I marked it, cut it down, put a little flange on in there, all along there. Um, I'm just not the greatest at butt welding on big long sections. I tend to warp them a little bit, have some burn through problems, so I figured I'd be safer if I overlapped them. But what I did do was here at the end, you can see I cut and notched this out. So when the quarter panel sits on here, at the end it's gonna butt weld. So that's easy enough to butt weld and then it wraps over into the jam. This way you don't have one panel sitting on top of the other creating like a bump here. They're gonna sit nice and flush. So that worked out real good. And then you can see I got the, um, the lip all cleaned off and it's all ready. Down on the bottom, on the rockers, down here, put some pour 15 on this. It's solid, but it was all surface rusted. When they build these cars, that's all bare metal. And uh, then everything gets welded together and no primer ever gets down in there because they were spraying primer and paint back in the in the 70s now you buy a new vehicle it's dipped in a big tank electro dip is electro deposition primer so it gets in all the cracks and crevices but on these older ones it doesn't so that's where we get our rust problem so since i had this all open and got it sandblasted wanted to get it all primered up inside there hopefully that will give it um, some long lasting years there before we have problems again so this particular car is going to be a tribute to Richard Petty. We're making it look like Richard Petty's 73 Charger. Pretty solid car. Came from Oklahoma. Like I said, we did sandblast it. Um, if you take a peek now down at the front floor pans, after it's blasted, there's some pinholes and stuff in there. So I got some new floor pans that'll have to get welded in there. But those look like a pretty simple floor pan to weld in. And that. And then the rest of the vehicle was all in pretty good shape, sandblasted everything. So you can see, but I got it all in primer. I want to get the engine compartment painted here soon so we can work on getting the engine and that back in it. Um, as for the quarter panels, here are the quarter panels. I had a very difficult time finding quarter panels. I ordered them from one place in January and they were supposed to be delivered in February, and then it was March and April, then they told me I might not see them till May. Um, everybody was out of stock of them, it seemed like. Nobody seemed to have them, and then I found a company called Tabco, and they claim that they're the ones that are making it, and that's what these panels are. These are the Tabco panels. They come bare metal, 
So you can see I uh, got the back sides all primered up and I got holes punched in in the places where we're going to plug weld. I just got to go back and uh, take a little uh, uh, scotch bright and put a little bare metal by each one of the plugs there so I can weld it. Um, but it's actually a pretty decent panel. Come around to this side a minute here. You can see on the wheel lip, I left it bare. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, 3M's 8115 structural adhesive and glue the inner wheel well to the outer part of the quarter panel. Uh, that's a really good way of doing it. The 8115 gives you rust protection, so you don't have to worry about where you've welded it, having hot spots that it's going to rust again on you. Um, it makes it a lot easier than trying to weld upside down on that wheel lip and that as well. But then the rest of the panel, all around the edges, down on the bottom of the rocker, across the back, and obviously across the top here, um, this will all get welded. Uh, if you take a, let's flip this over a little bit here. See if I can do it one-handed and hold the camera at the same time. Uh, but this is the Tabco panel. And see there's the part number for it. Pretty decent panel. Body lines look pretty good. They might not be quite as sharp as the original, but they are pretty decent. I was pretty happy with it. Didn't have to do any modifications. Let me switch hands here. You can tell I'm not Mr. Cameraman. I'm just some guy that fixes cars and has a cell phone, I guess, that can film it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but uh, you can see body lines, shapes, it's all pretty good. They don't cut out the marker light, which some people might say that's bad, but I think that's good because we don't want the freaking marker light on there. So it will make it real easy to uh, um, fix it. Besides, if you did want to put the marker light on, there's two holes and you got to cut a little square. So it's not a big deal. But yeah, this is a pretty nice looking quarter panel. One thing that you will have to do though, you will have to trim it. Um, across the back here, they give you a, a bunch of extra that's curved up all around here, across the top. Um, the wheel lips here, they're a little bit wider when you get it. They give you extra metal, so you do have to trim it down. Usually you have to do a little bit of trimming just to get it for the first test fit. And then once you get it test fitted, then you can mark it and do all the rest of your trimming. But the trimming is real easy. Like I said, the quarter panel uh, matches up real nice to the original. Quality panel, good thick metal, really good panel. Comes bare, which um, is not terrible. I mean, you got to put some primer on it like I did before you spray it. Um, it's nice if they come in the e-coat, but, you know, for what we paid, it wasn't that expensive. And they seem to be the only ones that have it. They're out of Ohio, so you can go online and look up Tabco and find out about it if you need one. But they are really seem like a really good company. Ordered it. Uh, they shipped it within a couple of days. Came truck freight. Um, we got it shipped right to the local uh, FedEx um, dock. Instead of shipping it out to uh, your house, it cost you more for a residential truck delivery. So we saved a little money, and you just go right to the... Um, in this case, it came FedEx. You go right to the FedEx place and pick it up right there. There was one real close by me, so it wasn't too bad of a deal. Um, but we had it within a couple of days. So good company to work with. Nice quality panel. Um, I don't know what else they make. This was the only panel we were interested in at the time, but I'm definitely going to check into them when I'm doing other jobs and see what they have available because they seem to be a pretty nice company. So that is the quarter panel, Tabco. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start welding it on today. I do have it all trimmed and fitted. I must have had it on and off the car about 10 times on both sides to get it fitted, but that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you gotta, you got to work at it and get it fitted. The more work you do getting it fitted, the better it is going to be when you go to weld it. So, um, But you can see we're all ready. Everything's set. So I will get this glued and tacked on today and then I'll probably make another video after it's all welded and and uh, cleaned up um, so you can see what happened but if you're looking to do this on a 73 or 74 charger it looks like Tabco might be the way to go uh, what I heard in the forums was they seem to be the only one that's actually making the panel right now so give them a try and see all right 
We'll get back to you on the next video and show you a little bit more.